This is Martin Carlyle with Assembly 3 from PicoCTF 2018. What does ASM3 do with these parameters? Submit the flag as a hexadecimal value, and it's located in this directory. So we get the source, and we get this link that tells us a little bit about registers. So one of the things that we're going to be noticing is that we have this 32-bit register EAX. We can look at the low 16 bits with AX. Then we can look at half of that with AH and the other half of that with AL. Okay, so I've put this program, I've edited it a bit in VI to sort of walk you through what's going on. The three parameters are in little endian order. So on the stack, we'll have the value VBP, because it got pushed here. Then we have the return address, because that got pushed at the call. Then we have the parameters, little endian order. So the least significant byte is first. So we have that 85F6. C0FA, and then we do that for the three parameters. As we walk through the routine here, we move 27 in EAX. That's in the low order byte, which we XOR with itself, so it becomes zero. We move into AH, what's at location B, which is FA, so now we have FA00. We shift that left 16 bits, which gets rid of it, then we subtract AL, which is 5. So FB plus 5 gives us uh, actually a 100 hex. So when we subtract from the 0, we'll actually end up with this FB. That's basically ni negative 5 as a single byte. We then add in the byte from place F, which is E0, so we now have E0 FB. We're then going to exclusive OR starting at 12. So again, remember the end of this, so this is AEE1, exclusive OR E0 FB, which is going to give me 0x4E1A. And there you go.